the benefits of having a maid made with b-e-n-e-f-i-t-s i don't want to say the word because i might get yellow marked let's go should you hire a maid here in the philippines how much should you pay her and how can you know if she's a naughty or trustworthy don't do what arnold schwarzenegger did <laughs> just kidding Danny. Okay. I like Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is your dear Annie here in the Philippines. Today we are going to talk about into a topic that plays a significant role in many households. Mm. The presence of a domestic help, whether you call them a maid, housekeeper, yaya or kasambahay here in the Philippines mm. or another term. They often became an integral part of our daily lives. And I want to share my thoughts on the matter and discuss the positive aspect of having someone to assist you at home and the benefits they should have. Mm. But before we go further, please mm. don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for my upcoming video. Sure. And if you want more, please consider my Patreon channel. There are ways to hire a maid here in the Philippines so easy. Mm. It can be referral by friend and family or at the employment agency. But most of the Filipino ask for a recommendation from their loved ones to ensure that someone is trustworthy. Mm. However, before hiring a maid, it is important to consider the cost and the benefits for both parties. Filipino maids are considered to be among the most in-demand domestic aids because we are hard-working people. But finding a good maid or someone who is with you at home can be just as important as finding a quality girlfriend or a wife and she can make your life easier and happier. Having a Filipino maid can easily learn how to cook your favorite Western food. They just go watch videos here on YouTube or depend on your preferences I like her in order for you to keep safe from eating outside and providing home-cooked meals prepared with extra love and care. Filipino maid can also serious of your transportation for dealing with people who don't speak good English, making communication easier and more efficient. Just a quick knowledge about me. I work as a domestic helper in Hong Kong, so I have first-hand experience in this field. The first thing comes into my mind is, how much is the salary being in this job? A Filipino domestic worker in Hong Kong will now earning salary about or around 4,700 Hong Kong dollar or one, uh, 600 US dollars per month. In the Philippines, typically cost between Sorry to pause. Sorry to pause it. Did you say six hundred a month? What the frick? That you never make it back. Not making nothing. What? Sorry. One hundred fifty dollars per month. Let's go back. Hong Kong dollar, or one uh, six hundred U.S. dollars per month in the Philippines typically cost between one hundred fifty dollars per month. Although this price can vary depending on the maid's experiences and specific duties required the cost of a maid can also be negotiable sorry to pause it again i'm sorry she meant the cost of how much it costs to be a maid so she said 600 a month wow so never mind that that's a lot of money bro so never mind sorry whoa so it is important to discuss the price with the maid before hiring her importantly manage your own expectation first it should be clear to you what you want from your maid. What will be her responsibilities? Also consider the arrangement as well. That is whether she will be stay in or stay out maid. It should be better to list your negotiable and non-negotiable even before starting to look for prospect. And you should know your responsibility as an employer and benefits she should have. Here's a rundown of the basic do's and don'ts, whether you are hiring through maid, agencies, or referral. 
never hire a helper 15 years old and below because it is against the law. You should request a pre-employment requirements like medical cert, birth certificate, IDs, and clearance such as barangay police clearance or bar police clearance or even NBI clearance and prepare a contract that is written in the language that she can understand including the stipulations for like duties and responsibilities also employment period hours of work rest days and allowable leaves and also register her in the local barangay's registry of domestic worker where you reside provide also the helper with three adequate meals and the humane sleeping condition mm. and appropriate medical assistance kit like first aid kit solid man this is very interesting and informative video i must say wow. also one of the benefit that she have you should apply her to have sss benefits this is a social pension for her in the future second is the the health insurance which is the field health and the third is pag ibig fund once but once the maid rendered one month of service in your family but most of the filipino my thing is though the guys that are having these philippines you know maid maids or whatever are they actually doing these things like are they actually like giving these maids like benefits like health care and you know um health benefits and all that good stuff are they actually doing that or they're just paying them just like up front and then that's it there's no benefits or even like anything like that because honestly i feel like it seemed like most of these maids are just getting paid just like that just off the rip with no benefits at, at all you know that's what i'm getting but the way she's saying it is it's implying that you need to do these things in, in order you know for me to be a maid you know what i mean because i got respect <laughs> That's what I'm getting from her. But anyways, man, she looks great anyway. She looks, she looks amazing. She looks beautiful. So let's go. While you're here, an e-big fund. Once, but once the maid rendered one month of service in your family, but most of the Filipino, while you're here, they do it after three months to ensure that the maid is really working seriously to the family. And don't do what Arnold Schwarzenegger did. Well, if you remember what he did to his maid, you can do some research about what happened. Is it true or not or whatever. And also maintain the professionalism between the employer and the employee. Mm. And also the employer who wants to have a good relationship with their worker to take the initiative and treat their employees kind and politely. Mm -hmm. In my experience, Filipina prefer to have a foreign employer because the way they treat the maid, which is very different from pure Filipino employer. It is like foreigner employers are more open to working hours. Once the job is done, the maid is free to do whatever she wants for the rest of her time. Unlike the pure Filipino employer, where very every hour of the maid time or oh, every hour of the time of the maid should be worth it of what did they pay actually some housekeepers are mistreated working ridiculous hours and not given a day off by their employer Man, they tick tocking in the background y'all see them tick tocking right there what a freak i'm sorry i'm, I'm getting off track what the anyways there's, there's a lot in here actually you may also offer overtime pays for working on day off some households give their maids 1,000 pesos or 18 US dollars per year of service. And important to be cautious with the maid as things can be great at first, but then she might disappear along with your stuff and stolen money. Oh yes, hiring a maid is all worth it. And always remember, a happy and well-treated helper is more likely to be motivated and committed to their role in your households. I hope this video gives you insightful of having someone with you. At Shout out my girl, Annie, man. She's talking about how, you know, the benefits of being a maid and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Shout out to her, man. Honestly, if I were to have a maid in the Philippines, 
Me, I'm hiding all my valuables in the safe. I'm hiding all my valuables, money, everything that's important to me in the safe. Because you just never know nowadays. It don't matter if she's she's a foreigner, she's from the States, she's from Russia, Chinese. There's thieves out there. You know what I mean? You just never know. You know what I mean? But it's interesting, man, that she talk about the benefits of being a maid. So, um, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want more videos like this, man, like the video. Of course, subscribe. Comment down below, man, if you agree with her with any of the, the points she said in the video. And, yeah, man, I'm going to catch you guys in the next reaction. I'm a gone.